right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. Here he is, the undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Understanding, they show up every single time. They're knowledgeable, they're ready to cheer, but don't be crazy. They will boo you out of that building. Oh, nice strength. That'll work. Now leather being thrown on both sides. And that one certainly found the target. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. Nice body shot. Some more output, at least in the early going. Not resting in the clinch, being very active and landing a beautiful punch there from the clinch position. Oh, oh he's got him hurt here. Right hook, but a whiff. Oh, nice. Nice. Now he's starting to find his 
groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left, or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. Nice job. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, judges handle like that uppercut. Another punch lands for this fight. They won't take many of those. Oh, nice. Striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Beautiful combination there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Beautiful kick. Well, at this point, he is really timing things out well. It looks like he'll try to set up another combination of counter strikes here. He'll try to bait his opponent in and ultimately use that over-aggressiveness against him. Good fight here, under two to go. Big shot to the head. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block. He got hurt again. Oh, big left. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing. I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. with the right hook. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Left. Left. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point. In there it is. Look at that. Gets back to his feet. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Dynamite! All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.